Hi guys, this is Vishal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll illustrate how to set up Kafka Stream configuration using Spring Boot. I will also demo how to build Kafka Stream topology with a real life scenario. So let's get started. Alright, so this is the scenario which I'm going to illustrate in this video. So I have one input topic called Spring Boot Kafka Stream Input. It has messages of type string. Okay, so I'm going to build a stream processor topology with the help of Spring Boot framework where this topology will read the data from this input topic with the help of input stream. That means I'm going to build a stream to read the data from this topic and then I'll apply some transformation logic that I'll, I'm going to filter some events and map some values into different form and the resultant output of that stream I will put into another topic called Spring Boot Kafka Stream dot Output. Okay, so this is going to be my output topic. So anything result of my stream processing topology or the transformation that output stream will be pushed into my output topic. All right. So let's begin with this. Okay, so I have created this application called Spring Kafka Stream Tutorial. Okay. And I have just created the initial structure of uh, my Spring Boot application. I have not added anything related to Kafka stream related, you know, configuration or logic. Okay. So I have the simple application.java class, which has initial annotation that is at the rate Spring Boot application. Then I have this application YAML created where I'm going to write the stream related properties. And then we have this pom.xml, right? Added two dependencies which are related to Kafka, right? One is the Spring Kafka that is required to support the Kafka. And then I have one more called org.apache.kafka, Kafka stream. So this dependency is going to help us to enable or to build the stream processing logic in the application, right? And then the last one is to enable the Spring Boot that is Spring Boot Starter I've added, okay? So two important dependencies that we require to to build the Kafka stream related configuration. One is a spring Kafka and the second is a Kafka string, right? This is my POM XML. So let's go and first enable the Kafka and the Kafka stream for our application. For that purpose, I'll go to application.java and here first annotation that requires to enable Kafka is at the rate enable Kafka, right? Then second to enable Kafka stream is at the rate enable Kafka streams. This annotation specifically required when you are doing the streaming related operation. Okay. So here we have enabled Kafka as well as Kafka streams. Now let's go to YAML and write the properties that is required for Kafka stream. Okay. Similar to other like producer and consumer, we have the same structure to write the Kafka stream property. So start with spring colon, enter Kafka colon, then streams. Just like producer and consumer, we have streams. Okay, here the first property is bootstrap servers, right? Here you need to add the servers the Kafka brokers, okay? The servers I'm going to add here is this. This is the IP address of my server where my Apache Kafka is running and this is the port, right? This is the mandatory property under Kafka stream, okay? Second mandatory property is application ID. The unique ID should be given to each application, okay? That is application ID. Here, not equal to its colon space here, I can give same name like my application name spring Kafka stream ID, right? It's like I want to give. Okay. So these are the two mandatory properties under Kafka stream. There are many optional properties that we can add, but right now we only need these two properties. One is to point to the Kafka server and one is to define the application ID, right? Okay, now that we have added stream related properties, now we will create stream config bin. Okay, so for that purpose, first I'll create a package here called config. Okay, 
within this config package i'm going to create one class called config.java i'll add the annotation at the rate configuration okay and here i'm going to create a bean okay so public streams config that is the object i'm going to return okay this is the method name right this is the initial structure i'll add annotation here at the rate bean because we are creating the bean then from here we should return new streams config okay now the streams config object is required properties related to kafka stream okay now if you go to this properties here spring kafka streams these properties are mapped to our kafka properties java class okay if i open this kafka properties here you see within this property there is one inner class called streams and within it you see application id bootstrap servers right so those properties that we mentioned in the yaml are actually getting mapped to this application id streams present under stream inner class okay so this is all present under one class that is kafka properties right so i can auto wire that kafka properties over here so i simply say kafka properties right and from this properties object i can build stream properties which will return hash map and i can set that properties under this stream config object so our configuration is ready the stream config is ready now let's go ahead and build the stream processor topology so for that purpose i'm going to create a package here called processor okay and within this processor i will create a new class called event stream processor okay i'll add here at the rate component annotation here i'll add first method okay public void stream topology okay this is initial method nothing i have written related to kafka stream yet okay here in order to build the topology we need an abstraction called stream builder okay and that stream builder object is automatically created or by default created when we add properties like spring kafka streams in our application yaml because spring boot follows auto configuration right so as soon as it sees these properties it will automatically create a bin for stream builder okay so our job is just to auto wire it so here i'm going to auto wire private stream builder okay and add auto wire annotation okay now here i'm i'm going to use the stream builder object to create stream on topic okay our topic name is spring dot boot dot kafka dot stream dot input this is our input topic and we need to consume this value with the serializers or deserializers of type stream like i already said the values present in that input topic of type string okay and key and value are of same type that is string so i'm going to use same string type for both key and value i'm going to copy same here all right so this is the syntax to create a stream okay now this stream method will return k stream so i'm going to take this return value into new k stream object okay of type string okay i'll give some name like k string all right this is the initial syntax i'll just enlarge this view all right now now as soon as we build the stream the inflow of data from that input topic starts coming okay we have a messages there of type string now first transformation 
or first method I want to apply on that stream is a filter. Okay, I want to retain only those messages which starts with message underscore. Okay, if it starts with message underscore string literal, then only keep those messages and discard rest of them. Okay, so I will apply filter case stream dot filter, right? It has a syntax like s and s2 s is nothing but the key s2 is nothing but the value right and here i'm saying value dot starts with if it starts with like this okay message underscore okay let's say m is capital okay if it starts with message underscore then only retain all the messages rest messages simply discard okay this is a filter now on the retained messages i want to apply a map values okay map values here i'm going to transform that coming messages okay so messages coming are not case sensitive okay it can be in the lower case or upper case but i want all the messages the filtered messages from the stream should be in the upper case okay so here same again syntax key and value okay so this is value this is key and here i'll say value dot to uppercase i want to map everything every message is coming to two uppercase i don't want to i don't want any message in the lowercase or uppercase in a random form i want everything in the uppercase right we got this then i'll just simply use peak peak is nothing but the logging your messages okay it's just like system out you know printing the messages on the lock screen or on the console here peak will do the same as well as it will return the same stream to further because peak is not a terminal operation just like a for each if you do a for each then for each does not return anything but in case of peak we can log the message or we can print the message at the same time we can carry forward our next operation okay so here again like key and value I want to print that message the transform message so I say system dot out dot println okay I say key equal to k plus value equal to this b okay and then since it's not a terminal operation I can do I can apply one more method over there there I will say two that means output that all the result into another topic okay this is our output topic and output topic is spring dot boot i'll just scroll right okay spring dot boot dot kafka dot stream dot output right and produce with we similar to consume with we need to produce with produce with the same string key and value serializers right so again crde this is a class dot string and same should be for value right this topology is ready okay let me repeat this again first with the help of stream builder we build the topology on this our input topic then the case stream return on that we applied a filter to retain all the messages starting with the message underscore and the result of it are passed through map values where we are transforming all the messages into uppercase then with the help of peak we are just printing all the key and value just to verify that what messages we are pushing into output topic and then finally with the two i am putting all the messages all the transform messages into output topic right so this our topology is ready but not ready why because kafka stream is a real time processing it should be started as soon as your application is started but if you see the syntax of this stream topology method it's an individual method that means it can be executed when someone other class or other component call this method but stream topology does not work there like this it has to be executed 
when your application starts because it's a real time so in order to make this real time we have two annotations so that it can be started as soon as your application starts one is at the red pin as you know beans are always executed when your application starts right second annotation which is most preferable is at the red post construct by adding at the red post construct we are saying execute this method as soon as you are ready with all the beans you created then start this execution so when application starts it readies with all the beans it will hit to the stream topology method start executing like building the stream on input filtering the values mapping the values and finally putting to output topic so now i can say my stream topology is ready now let's go ahead and try to test this application okay so i'm starting the application Okay, so application started. So if you just see this console logs, you see there is a Kafka consumer. So what does that mean? Kafka stream is built on the top of consumer. So when you start the Kafka stream, you are actually starting the consumer. So Kafka stream can actually be used as a Kafka consumer along with its own DSL methods, the transformational methods. Okay, so here we started the application. It is acting as a consumer. Okay, it is reading this input Kafka topic. We don't have anything on the topic. That's why it's not printing anything. Okay, so I'll just simply clear the logs. I'll go to my Apache Kafka server, right? And here, right, this is a confluent actually, but I'm just using the Kafka server at the moment. None other connect on anything confluent related features. Okay, let's try to push some values to our input topic and then see if it's really transforming. Okay, so this is the command to push the messages to the input topic. Okay, I'll hit the enter. Okay, message should start with message underscore, then only it will retain. Okay, so I'll say test message one. Hit enter message underscore test message two. Okay, now let's see simply test message three can pass through okay and then one more message or with a lowercase message underscore test message four okay i added four messages to input topic now if i go to console you see only two messages are filtered mapped and pushed through that topic one starting with message underscore test message one second message underscore test message two rest two are discarded because it is not starting with message underscore because m should be capital that's what we have given here right and this peak is actually printing after this two one is filtered and then map values which is doing two uppercase so this two uppercase is done okay we have only values we're not pushing key so hence key is null that's fine with us at the moment okay and these transform values are pushed to this output topic right this is how it works now if we want to verify these messages are really added to output topic or not we can do that too okay we'll try to read the messages from that output topic i'll clear the console i'll use this command to read the messages from the beginning of this Kafka stream output topic if I entered you see now these first three messages which I have done before for testing purpose and the last two which one we just added now you see these all messages are transformed into uppercase and added to a topic that means our stream topology is actually working so this way, with the help of Spring Boot Framework, we can build the Kafka stream topology to transform the messages from one input topic and push to the other output topic. Thank you for watching.